Hey guys, it's MC Fixit here. I have a circuit tester by King Bolin. This is the ECT 200. This is a 12 or 24 volt car tester. It has a probe light, component activator, continuity test, trailer light tester, short circuit finder. It comes with a 6.5 foot long cable so you can move around your vehicle and successfully use this tester in lots of locations. I'm going to be going over some of the different features of this and giving you guys my honest feedback and review of this product. So stick around to the end to see all of that. Here is the unboxing. We'll go ahead and open this up and you'll see that it comes with the tester with the probe and it does say it is sharp so please be careful. Um, it actually says sharp probe right there as well, but we'll go ahead and take that off and that will allow us, that is kind of sharp, that allows us to get in. You have your positive and negative right there, a 16.5 foot long cable. Inside here is your user manual. Make sure to read over all of this to figure out how this tool works. So take your time, read over all of it and make sure you're doing this correctly before putting it to a car battery and testing different things out. Then here is a quick guide as well in a couple of different languages. So you can see all of that right there. So we'll go ahead and peel off this little cover here. So you have the probe right here. You'll have your screen right here. You'll have your toggle switch right there. It also will beep out of right here. You'll have positive and negative battery clips right here and right here. You'll have two front LED lights up here. You'll also have a ground clip. That's this guy right here. It looks a little different because these are actually going on your terminals. This will just go on a wire or whatever you need it to. And so that is all that is here. So we'll go ahead and go out to a vehicle and start testing. So we are now at a vehicle. We're going to go ahead and undo the twisty ties here. Put this on our positive and negative terminal here. And as soon as I connect it, and you'll see that it shows zero, but if you come over here and touch, you get a 12.2. Might be hard to see in the sun, but it does say 12.2 right there. So I'm going to go ahead and test this light right here. I'm going to put the negative on. And then I'm going to come in on this side and go ahead and push the upside. And you can see right there, that light is good. This does have a little fan in it too. I'm not certain if you're gonna hear it, but you can definitely feel it in your hand. So this tests your light to make sure your light is good. And that's an LED headlight that is good. As soon as you take it off, it turns off. That's pretty awesome. You can also do it on traditional bulbs as well. So we'll go ahead and get one side hooked up. And it's going to be hard to see, but it does light up. It is pretty bright outside this morning, but you can see as soon as I remove it, it comes off and it is reading 12 volts on there. So that's perfect. So you can do it with old school bulbs or even the new LED style to test your bulbs, which is great. So, you know, if you have a bulb issue or a wiring issue. So let's say you don't know if this fan is working properly. We'll go ahead and pull it out. Go ahead and connect one side with the negative clip. And then one side with the positive. Then you're going to go ahead and hit the button. And you can hear the fan start going. So you would know your fan is good and you must have some kind of wiring or relay issue. That's a pretty awesome little feature. Again, the positive and negative are connected here. You're going to connect to a negative and then on the positive side. Press down on the number one side, and right there you can hear the fan going. So do be careful not putting your hands down there while you're doing this. That's a way to easily check uh, different components to see if they are working properly, which is a great feature of this product. Another thing you can test is relays. So if you go ahead and pull out your box, find a relay that you want to test. Let's say this relay right here is giving you some problems. You can go ahead and test it and see if it clicks and you can hear it. And it also is showing up with 12. So you know this relay is most likely good because it is allowing you to connect through. Another great thing about this product is if you wanna test continuity, so I got this 30 fuse here. We're gonna put the negative on either side on the opposite side. You're not gonna press any buttons. You're just gonna to touch it against it. And if it beeps, it has continuity. 
A lot of these you can also just look at, but if you're having issues not determining if it is a good fuse or not, you can test continuity. You can test continuity between a lot of different things on vehicles to see if the part is functioning properly. So here are my overall thoughts. I do think this is a really great product, especially if you're trying to diagnose things. You can really get in there and test to see if it is a component that is failing, if it's having a wiring issue, um, and it just allows you to start diagnosing and kind of pinpointing what is wrong with your vehicle. So this is definitely something to get. You can do a voltage test, you can do a diode test, a component activation, a positive negative battery test, continuity test. You can tell if uh, you're getting some short circuits. So all those things you can do with this. I didn't show all of them in this video. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I hope this was helpful. And if this is something you want, I encourage you to go ahead and get it. I have an Amazon link in the description below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to MC Fix It, do that now.